Hello, my dear students, and welcome to Unit 2 Overview, which is the human body. So firstly, introduction to human body systems. The human body is a complex organism made up of different systems, including the circulatory, respiratory, digestion, and excretory system. Systems are composed of organs working together to perform specific function necessary for the body's survival. Systems collaborate to maintain homeostasis, ensuring stability and balance within the body. For example, the circulatory system provides nutrients to cells, and the respiratory system ensures oxygen intake for cellular function. Body systems overview. We will start with the circulatory system. The function of the circulatory system is known as the cardiovascular system. It is to transport oxygen, nutrients, hormones, and waste products throughout the body. The key components, heart, blood vessels, which are arteries, veins, and capillaries, and blood. Moving next to the respiratory system. The function of the respiratory system is to facilitate the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the body and the environment. The key components of the respiratory system, which is lungs, trachea, bronchi, and diaphragm. Moving next to the digestive system. The digestive system breaks down food, into nutrients that the body can absorb and use for energy and growth. The key components are the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. And here the digestive system composed between mechanical digestion or chemical digestion that we will be talking about in detail. Then we have the excretory system, which is the system that removes waste product from the body maintaining a proper balance of water and electrocytes. The key components are the kidneys, bladder, and urethra. We have nutrients and their importance. We have micronutrients, which are the nutrients that are required in relatively large amounts for energy and growth. Then we have the types of that, which are the carbohydrates, proteins and fats. We have simple carbohydrates and we have complex carbohydrates. We also have saturated fat and unsaturated fat that we will be talking about in details later on in our unit and we will be talking about examples about each one of them. Then we have micronutrients which are the nutrients needed in smaller quantities to support various psychological functions and physiological functions which are vitamins and minerals. The digestion process we have ingestion which food enters the mouth, digestion which mechanical and chemical breakdown in the stomach and small intestine. Absorption, which nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream in the small intestine. And then we have elimination. Indigestible materials form feces, which are expelled from the body. Then we have organs of the digestive system. We have the mouth, chews and mixes food with saliva. Stomach sec secrets digestive enzymes and acids. Small intestine, major site of nutrient absorption. Large intestine absorb water and there feces are born. Then we have the respiratory system, which is the breathing process. We have the inhalation, which air is taken in and oxygen is transported to the lungs. Exhalation, which to exhale technically is that carbon dioxide is expelled from the lungs. Then we have gas exchange, which Oxygen from inhaled air is exchanged for carbon dioxide in the alveoli of the lung. The diaphragm and intercostal muscles play a crucial role in the breathing process. Then we have the excretory system. Kidney function, which is blood, is filtered and waste products form urine. Kidneys maintain water, balance, 